Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial we'll see how we can invoke a REST API from Power Apps. We will back this tutorial with a real life demo in which you will go ahead and export a pen input or a signature into a PDF. My name is Clavin and I work as a technical consultant. You can find my blog at clavinfernandez.wordpress.com and my Twitter handle is at the rate Clavin Fernandez. This blog is a continuation of a previous blog post. I leave the link to the previous blog in the description below. In the previous blog we went ahead and signed up for an API, the Mohimbi API. We went ahead and understood the parts of the API that is the methods, URLs, headers and the body. We also understood how you can use the HTTP action in Power Automate to invoke it. So if you are directly coming to this tutorial, I would recommend you have a look at my previous tutorial as well. So without wasting any further time, let's get into the demo. So I am in make.powerapps.com. I will go ahead and create a canvas app. Let's keep it as a tablet layout. I will give it a name, maybe signature rest demo. I will click on create. Now let's take a scenario out here. You are an instructor or you have few instructors in your company who want to generate certificates for their students, right? So they want to go ahead and generate it using Power Apps. So the first thing that they want to input is the name of the person or the name of the student, right? So I add a text input, I add a label as well on the top of it and I'll say name of student and text input. Just for the sake of simplicity let me rename these things as LBL name and let me rename the text box as txt name. Next I want to add a signature so I'll add a pen input and I'll add a button. So I'll rename the signature to pen sign I'll rename the button btn generate sign and I'll rename the button text property as well. Now what I'll do is that I want to go ahead and collect the data from the text input as well as the signature so that I can generate the certificate. So on the button on select property I will add a formula the formula would be collect. So remember I want to collect the data so I need to create a collection and it will be a signature collection. I'll just create items in it. So the first item would be the name. The name would be the text so it's going to be txt name the name of my text box so if you see out here, if I select txt name, you see it highlights it. So this is a very good part of it, right? So txt dot dot txt or text. So the text property of that control. Next, I want to find the pen input. So I'll put in sign. And I can put in pen sign dot image. Correct. So the first part of our formula is done. Next part we want, we have collected this information in a collection. We want to convert it in the form of binary so that we can send it to our REST API. So I'll use the set. The set command is used to create a variable. The variable would be JSON var because we are going to use the JSON function to go ahead and convert this particular collection into binary. So first things I need to pass is the signature. So signature collection, I'll pass the whole collection and then I'll say JSON format include as binary data. So let me close the brackets, no errors, good. Next I want to clear the collection after I collect the data. So I'll say clear and I'll clear the signature collection. Next I'll add another button because I want to go ahead and pass this particular JSON var, the values that I have collected in that variable to a power automate and then to our rest api so i'll change this 
name of the button and let me just change the text property of this as well btn pa pa stands for power automate generate certificate okay so quite a descriptive name out here next I want to associate a power automate to it so I'll click on the actions tab click on power automate and I'll click on new flow then I'll create a button flow and here I'll add a compose action and I'll say ask in power app I'll rename this to certificate demo and I'll save it for now next what I want to do I want to associate this particular rest certificate demo to my button out here so I'll click here and it will try to associate it to a button you see it's adding it to this I'll pass in my JSON var variable let's go ahead and see this in action now so I'll type in Clavin Fernandez and I'll just put in some signature I'll say generate sign and I'll click on button PA generate certificate now if things have gone incorrectly I should see a JSON array in my power automate here you see so we have successfully passed the data from our power apps to power automate correct now I'll put this in the notepad again and here you see we have a base 64 bit string and you have the name we can verify the signature by copying the base 64 in Google saying base 64 to file open an online converter paste this in and say decode so here you see you have your signature so the data is coming in correctly that's real awesome right next what we need to do we need to go ahead and invoke the rest API and then go ahead and convert this data into a PDF so I have the compose so I'll rename the compose to something more descriptive JSON from power apps next I want if you see the data is in the form of JSON so we need to get the elements out of it so we need to get the sign element and the name element so next I'll go ahead and say parse JSON I'll pass it the output of the above action and I need to generate a schema so I have already copied the output of the compose action I'll click on generate schema button on the parse on the JSON payload and click on OK power automate has went ahead and created us a JSON schema by just clicking on generate from sample next what we need we need to go ahead and compose an HTML so I'll say compose and I want to go ahead and create a certificate so I have an HTML ready don't worry I'll leave the HTML link to the HTML in the description section below so I'll paste it in and in the HTML I need to go ahead and change few things the first thing that I need to change is the image source so the image source is the sign okay it automatically adds and apply to each loop because the output is an array we don't need to worry because as I told you we are clearing the collection after creating the signature in power apps so at the end we'll only get one variable or one set of controls that is the name as well as the signature so there'll always be one okay and secondly I in this particular HTML I need to change the name so the certificate is presented to right so I have the HTML generated next what I want to do I want to go ahead and invoke my rest API so I'll type in HTTP premium that's fine remember you need a premium license to use the HTTP action so 
let me go back and give you a quick recap out here. So in this action, we have I have documented the Mohembi REST API. So we need a URL, we need the headers, we need the body. In the body, we need to pass in the source file name, the source file content, which is a base 64-bit string. The output format should be PDF and fail on error can be true or false. The response will be in the form of JSON again. So you'll have processed file name, you'll have file name, result code and result details. So let's fill in the blanks out here. So post, I need to put in a URI. I have the URI copied onto my clipboard. Then I need to pass in two headers. Remember, in the first demo, I went ahead and showed you how to get the API key for Mohembi. Mohembi offers a wide variety of subscriptions and one of them is free. So if you have a very small project that you are working on, you can use the free subscription. But if you have something that you're doing at an enterprise level, I would recommend you look at their pricing page and buy a subscription which will cater your requirement. Next. I'll just put in the body. Now this body, the source file content will be out will be the output of the compose action above it. So I'll just rename this. I'll just say HTML certificate. And I want to pass it in the source file content. Now remember the data needs to be in the form of base64. So I'll type in base64 and put in the output of the HTML certificate action, which is a compose action on top of it. Okay, I'll click OK. Here it is. Next, what I want to do, I want to go ahead and put a compose and I want to see how does it look. So I'll pass it the body and we'll try to save our flow and we'll try to manually test our flow. So my flow has completed and here you see I'm getting success. As I told you, the response will have the following things, right? Processed file content, base file name, result code and result details. Each API is different and each API will have a different response type. But the foundation is the same. If you have a good or a well-documented API, it should be very easy for you to understand what are the parameters you need to pass and what are the responses that you'll get. So I'll copy the response onto my clipboard. Click on edit. <coughs> I'll add a new action on top of this. And I'll say pass JSON again because the output is in the form of JSON. So I can say body, generate sample. I'll paste in the content of the response which I had on the clipboard and I'll click on done. I'll get rid of this compose action because we don't need it. So next I want to send it as an email so I'll say send email v2 I'll put in the email I'll say certificate and I'll pass in the name here I'll say congrats and here I'll say certificate dash name dash PDF and file content will be the processed file content. Now remember the response is in base64 so we need to make sure we convert it into a binary so I'll say base64 to binary and here I'll pass in the output of the processed file content and I'll click OK. So let's go ahead and save it let me try to check the flow checker. Here it tells me you may break the Power Apps trigger. Hmm, okay, I may break the Power Apps trigger. So what is the solution? I need to go back to Power Apps. I need to remove the Power Automate associated to the button. I need to click on Power Apps again. Just making sure that I have saved this. Remember, you need to save this before doing this. And I'll say REST Certificate Demo. That's the name of a Power Automate. It's adding it and here I'll pass it in the same JSON variable. I'll go ahead and click on file. I'll click on save. I've saved it. Now let me launch my power app again. I'll not share it now. I'll share it later maybe. 
let me change the value so I can say maybe Dhawan Fernandez and here I can say clear this off I'll sign it again say button generate signature I'll click on button generate certificate I'll go back to my power automate and let's see if it's invoked or is it giving me an error it's giving me an error for some reason so let me see what the error is it tells me it expected zero and received one now if I go to my power apps I'll click here just remember you need to update this variable again or you'll get the error that I was getting so I will go ahead and now try to pass it this variable that is JSON var I'll go ahead and play it now and I'll click on generate certificate let's see if this works it should trigger a flow it's running good making progress going into the apply to each loop as I told you it will only send one value so you don't need to worry about the loop out here in the meantime let me open the email so here you see certificate for Davin Fernandez and here you see that it has a certificate of completion so isn't this awesome you have created a power automate which can generate certificates invoke a rest api if you have any questions please do hesitate to contact me over linkedin twitter or even on my blog thank you for your time bye bye